Well, before last night's game, many around the area thought that the Gus Malzahn seat may have been getting a little bit hot. Auburn came into the game 1-2 and two on the season, coming off a loss at home against Texas A&M. And the task would not get any easier with the 18th ranked LSU Tigers in town. To Jordan-Hare Stadium we go. Last year, LSU stomped Auburn in Death Valley, putting up 45 points. This time, the two teams would not combine for 45. Auburn strikes first Daniel Carson from 51 yards out. That's no joke, people. Auburn up three zip. Later in the first, LSU's Danny Etling under pressure. Nice little shover to Foster Maru. He fights his way across the goal line. 7-3 boys from the Bayou. Auburn in the Wildcat on fourth and goal. But Carrion Johnson gets stuffed at the goal line. It was like a game of basketball, trading three-pointers. This one would put up Auburn 18-13 to in the fourth quarter. We move to the final play of the game with only one second on the clock. LSU's last chance. Etling rolling to his right. He's looking. He finds DJ Shark in the corner of the end zone. It looks like Santonio Holmes for the Steelers in Super Bowl 43. Touchdown, and that's your game, right? Or is it? Let's take a look at the TV feed. The key here is as soon as the ball is spotted, the clock begins to roll. The refs rule that LSU didn't get the ball off in time, meaning that TD doesn't count. Gus's seat may be cooled off for a little bit. Auburn comes away with the win, 18-13, to their first SEC home win since 2014. The tide rolling with true freshman Jalen Hurts looking like anything but. He finds Calvin Ridley for the four-yard TD, Alabama up 10-3. Second quarter, it's defense coming up big. Mike White's pass is picked off by Eddie Jackson. Jackson with a great return. QBs, do yourself a favor and don't try and tackle. Jackson stiff arms the top's QB and takes the pick six 55 yards to the house. Tied, lead it at half, 17 to three. Hardaway looking to get on the board in the final minute of the half. Jacob Ellaby from two yards out. That ties the game at seven with 33 seconds left. Think that's the end of the half? Well, you're wrong. Troop gets a good kick return and then Crow with another big pass hitting Russell across the middle and again Russell takes off brought down inside the five a gain of 38 yards with 20 seconds left. New Hardaway coach Michael Wooldridge challenges his defense to make one stop. 10 seconds left in the half Crow moves up under center looking to sneak it. He fumbles the snap looks like Russell recovers in the end zone but you can't advance a muff snap. The time expires with the score tied at seven the Hawks would go on to win 21 to 14. Gus and company came out quickly in front of the fiery War Eagle faithful. First quarter, Sean White drops back to pass. He steps up in the pocket, tries a little Brett Favre underhand flip to Karon Johnson. He slips the first tackle. Ooh, got another one. Johnson reverses field, finds some blockers, including his QB, gets to the far sideline and turns on the Jets. The beginning of the play was great. The finish, spectacular. Hurdles a defender and dives into the end zone. 47 yards for Johnson. Tigers put up 462 on the ground. Still in the first, White looks deep. Kyle Davis said, I'll call your crazy run and raise you an amazing catch. 42-yard gain down to the five-yard line. Davis looking like Odell Beckham Jr. on the Plains. 20 seconds left. Should be desperation time. No worries. Eason is poised as can be. He finds Riley Ridley for the 47-yard TD. Dogs up three with 10 seconds left. It's looking like it's down to the end, but backup DB gets called for a running on the field without his helmet. That sets up Tennessee in great field position. With four seconds left, Joshua Dobbs launches it from midfield. All you gotta do is bat it down. But unbelievably, it's caught by Jawan Jennings. A 43-yard score as time expires. A miracle finish. Georgia loses an absolute heartbreaker. 34 to 31. Ouch. We fast forward to the second half. The Tigers going with backup QB. John Franklin the third. He shows off the wheels. Bye-bye. 80 yards to the house. He told me after the game, 10 yards in, he knew he was gone. Auburn with a dominating win on homecoming. 58 to 7. This would be their toughest test since with the Chelsea Hornets who have a chance to chase them down in the standings in town. To East Alabama we go, last home game of the season at Bulldogs Stadium for Opelika. Bulldogs not afraid of the Hornets early. Weldron Ford shedding would-be tacklers, takes it 33 yards to the house for the TD. Opelika up 7-3. Later in the first, Ford, yeah, it was one of those type of nights for the big fella. Racking up the yak, yards after contact, this time 52 yards on the score. Opelika rolling early. Then it was the defense's turn, not one, 
but two safeties here. Robert Murray forces the fumble. Ball bounces out of the back of the end zone, makes it 14 to seven. Then the entire defense swallows up Maxwell. He had it going early, not late. Another pair of points for Spencer. They go on to win it 34 to 14. The weather, great last night. How about today?